Seeking answers tonight about why a Salem neighborhood was not notified that a sexual predator was living among them. His name is uh, Harry England. He's 75 years old. He was released from a prison in September and ended up in transitional housing across the street from a Head Start preschool program. Ken Body has this coin six follow up. They're feeling a lot better about things at this Head Start in Salem now that they know that the predatory sex offender who used to live right there is gone. How many boys have you molested? Mm -hmm. I said, I don't know. They said, well, give me a number, give me a number. I says, 5, 10, 50, 100, 700, I don't know. 75 year old Harry Engling admitted to molesting young boys in the cell phone video we obtained from a family member who claims he was also a victim decades ago. I found out Head Start hired security when they were told Engling was next door. When did you find out that this guy was living over here? Uh, we found out Friday afternoon uh, this last week. And what was your reaction to that? Uh, we, we weren't real happy about it. Engling lived in the Greer Street transitional housing for about three weeks. I asked Marion County Parole and Probation why they didn't notify anyone. They told me their rules allow 30 days for notification and Engling wasn't there that long. What do you think about a guy like this being in this neighborhood and not knowing about it? Well, that's just not right. I mean, uh, the neighbors have a right, especially with kids, and there's a Head Start program right up the street here. As for why he was allowed to live next to the Head Start in the first place, Marion County Parole and Probation told me they weren't aware it was there before Engling's family started picketing to alert the neighborhood. A spokesperson for Marion County told me, quote, it shouldn't have been missed. Union Gospel Mission of Salem President Del Maxfield told me Engling would not have been allowed at their transitional housing had they known his extensive predatory history. But they also tell me he has to live somewhere, and they hope he doesn't end up on the street, which makes him more difficult to monitor. Marion County does tell me that this Head Start program is now on their radar, and they will be notified if another predatory sex offender is located anywhere around here. In Salem, Ken Body. Coin 6 News.